has been presented with hundreds of photos of Aussie soldiers drinking from the prosthetic leg of a slain Afghan national. The photos were presented by lawyers for a soldier suing several media outlets for defamation. The photographs of Australian soldiers guzzling alcohol from the artificial limb were published in December 2020 and became graphic displays of alleged gross misconduct by Australia in Afghanistan. A newspaper alleged in 2009 that a soldier shot dead an Afghan civilian and brought to the prosthetic leg as a, quote, souvenir. The defamation case against the Australian media was filed in response to a series of reports published in 2018, wherein the soldier was accused of war crimes, which his lawyers deny as baseless and false. The trial will begin in Sydney on June the 7th. Now, Tim Anderson is the director at the Center for Counter Hegemonic Studies and joins us now. Tim, welcome. Uh, what's your views on this story and how do you think uh, back home in Australia? It's a very important story in Australia because it, um, as even some uh, corporate journalists are recognizing now, the, the defamation case brought on by uh, former soldier Ben Robert Smith. It's a prelude to possible prosecution of Robert Smith for war crimes in Afghanistan. And while he has the backing of one media billionaire, some of the other media chains are pressing that this uh, case is able to be reported on freely. So it's initiated a conflict between media billionaires, all of whom normally support all of the wars in the Middle East, but they're at odds over this. And it's also called into question the entire role of Afghanistan, which was considered, quote, the good war, unquote, compared to the other dirty wars in the region. Well, this potentially, Tim, uh, become like a symbol of, uh, you know, alleged impropriety, uh, similar to what we saw with American troops in the Iraq's uh, Abu Ghraib prison, for example. Yes, it's a parallel to that in the Australian context. Remember this man, Ben Robert Smith, who has been hired by one of the media networks by a billionaire who's heavily invested in Israel and supports the special air services that Roberts was part of. Um, Roberts is the most highly decorated living Australian soldier. So he was, in a sense, an icon, a representative the reason why Australian troops were in Afghanistan at all. Now, if he's disgraced as a war criminal involved in several murders, which has already been affirmed by an investigation by the Defence Department, um, so-called Brereton Report, which found over 30 murders of civilians by Australian soldiers. So that's all out in the public there. So the entire edifice and the image of the Australian involvement in the war in Afghanistan is, is at risk here. And it may be that the defamation case in advance of criminal charges is going to uh, uh, bring that to a much wider public and, and start to determine the matter in people's minds here. Well, you know, Tim, apart from uh, drinking alcohol using uh, an Afghan's prosthetic uh, leg, what, what uh, Australian forces offered to Afghanistan? Well, as with all of the previous wars in my lifetime and to some extent before, Australian forces have served as an adjunct to US forces in virtually all foreign wars, basically Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria. They've been exposed as involved in atrocities in all of those, those three wars there. Uh, in the case of Afghanistan, the Brereton report um, of last year showed that uh, more than 30 civilians had been murdered by Australian soldiers. And this is evidence from other Australian soldiers who were given immunity to talk to that report. So it's really turned on its head the image of this um, engagement by the Australian military. OK, Tim, always a pleasure speaking to you. Tim and director at the Centre for Counter-Hegemonic Studies joining us out of Sydney.